Hi guys, I am welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Dodong at the Zero in New Zealand. So, to this video is are we going to have um react this uh, video is a reaction video in regards with the um, with the flooded <laughs> flooded barn. Yes, uh, uh, the they're getting floods in the barn. So <laughs> I'll be going to watch this out. This is my first time reaction video. This is a dairy farming uh, dairy farm in Canada. So their shed, I mean, uh, it's not, this is the barn, their barn, where is the cows is, is uh, they are getting flooded. So <laughs> let's watch how this is. I just see, I just see it when I just saw this one uh, on the YouTube. So they're going to take any reaction video of this one. Okay, guys, so let's, uh, let's, let's do it. This morning I came into the barn. I went to go grab group one and... To grab that group, you gotta kind of chase them through this one here, through group two. And uh, I noticed this water bowl was just pissing water out the side like crazy. Ah. Someone came in behind here where the hose goes into the water bowl, licked the hose off, and it's just laying on the ground there. <laughs> the hose is already. There's just spitting water right out this end and completely flooded this entire alley oh, all the way down Jesus. to the back of the barn. <laughs> And up to the front here. There's like two inches of water now throughout this entire alley. It's not the <laughs> biggest deal. It's kind of annoying to push it to the back. Yes, it's annoying. Uh, it's going to be like pushing a tsunami. It's a big mess. <laughs> the girls are walking everywhere. This is another water bowl here. Uh, that's what it's supposed to look like on the back. Yes, I think the uh, white one. This is a shield one. protecting the float that's in there. Have you seen that the white one? I think it was already tangled. I mean, it was already broken or it was take off. So, instead that the water keep on running. <laughs> Let's continue. <laughs> this is another water bowl here. Uh, that's what it's supposed to look like on the back. Yeah. And this is a shield protecting the float that's in there. But uh, we want to get them extended so that the cows can't lick on here. That's most likely what happened back there. You did that, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. See how long she follows me for. I like you the cows keep on... Keep on <laughs> he keep on following me. He, uh, he's, yeah, he's, uh, now we're all the way I the really back like the this guy. There's still a ton of water everywhere. It has just been actually this guy blowing into the back gutter here. We bought this girl actually. She, um, my parents went to a show called The Royal in Toronto, picked her up, and she's actually from BC. So she went from BC to Toronto to Saskatchewan here. Um, so she's been traveling quite a bit. She's got quite a bit of attitude. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's from a herd called Dicklands out in BC. Uh, they got an Instagram too. I believe it's just Dicklands. If you guys want to check it out. Yeah, she's definitely a fun cow to have around. Same Dick as Lance. usual. Just going to have to scrape it all back. <laughs> what but I'm miss? not going to be able to drive too fast because otherwise it's going to create this tsunami and it's going to go in the beds. It's going to splash everywhere. So we're just going to take it easy and uh, drive it all to the back there. push this ridge of manure away here because I think if I splash it with water it's gonna go beside the ridge and if I just squeegee it away with this thing it'll just flop right in so Eric behind me 10th generation dairy man YouTube channel there. He has a slatted barn, so his manure fits directly below. And uh, if he had a leaky water below, it would all just flow down directly. Yeah, I, this guy is, I always watching on his video about dairy farming. Um, I really appreciate him because as always, um, I follow her on YouTube channel. He's really a nice guy and I like her because, uh, I like him is because um, he is, um, I really loves what he is doing. 
and um, I really really salute you brother so I hope uh, you are uh, you have seen my uh, reaction video and comment down below guys which in this situation would be pretty nice because you wouldn't have to mess around like I am right now but um, oh well got it nice and cleaned out only had to scrape a little bit of crap off the ledge there for the beds there wasn't too much uh, water in there so that's good ladies are coming back in now sweet yes it's really really nice in the barn Dairy farming in Canada is also nice. I wanna experience since I will be experience in Japan and New Zealand, I will just experience uh, uh, dairy farming in Canada. She has some orange leg bands on. This is how we know she's a cow that needs to be separated. So we put this can here and it diverts the milk into it. We pull the hose off and put it into here. And this is how we catch all the milk that needs to be separated. So this cow, she's normal. She's same got no penicillin or anything. She's going into the milk tank. And you can see what they did is that same here in New Zealand. If there is a penicillin cow and there is a... Um, uh, we put a leg band on it so that we were going to identify which one is a penicillin cow, lame cow, mastitis cow. So, uh, same in uh, yeah, Canada. Nice one, brother. This just goes directly into the wall. This is how we check every single cow when they come in. We just strip them a couple times. And this way we're able to make sure that uh, she's good to milk. That cow is done milking now, so we just bring the can to the back corner of the milk parlor here. Take the lid off, and we stick this hose in it. Open that valve, and then it sucks the milk out of this can and brings it down to the basement. We're now in the basement of the milk parlor, and all of the milk comes down into here before it goes to the ball tank. That's our main receiver jar, and the milk pump is there. But we have a second one down here in the basement. That's for that waste milk. This receiver jar and milk pump is from our old milk parlor. We saved it, put it in here. So the hose that I was sucking the milk out of that can with comes out of the roof right here, goes to that receiver jar, and then the milk pump is underneath that cover right there, and it pumps it up to the pasteurizer in the calf kitchen. This is the milk line that comes up from the basement of all the waste milk, and whenever you start pumping in the parlor, it goes down the basement, and then it comes into this pasteurizer right here, or in the morning, it goes into this one. The reason why we have two pasteurizers is because otherwise, you would have that one full, and you'd want to start milking in the morning. You'd have to dump all of that milk into the milk taxi at 4 a.m., so this would be a bit of a hassle, so we just got one that was had two pasteurizers on there. Ah, wow, that's this, that is good. They are not wasting any milk. While here in New Zealand, is we are just um, through it. We just uh, uh, dump it. Yeah. This is good. This is cool. It's cool, brother. Nice one. It's very nice. So in the morning, we'll stick that milk line into this pasteurizer while they feed out of this one, and then it goes back and forth like that. 
If you guys remember in the calf feeding video, we were feeding milk replacer, but since we finally got those pasteurizers hooked up, we've been feeding our waste milk now. The reason why we pasteurize the milk is because calves generally do a lot better on pasteurized waste milk than if it wasn't pasteurized. We're going to be putting pour on the cows this morning. The east side of the milk herd is locked up. This is what it is. It's a couple of bottles of stuff. There's a spray nozzle. You spray it along their back and it gets rid of all the bugs or lice or anything that they Got have. It. And hopefully they'll be a little bit more comfortable. Yes, that is called, uh, we are doing like the warming like that one. Yes, we do that one um, in our, uh, in the yard. So we did that one as well. Especially if they are uh, like, if they were going the pregnant, uh, pregnant cow. Because they were going to give birth. But I, I don't think so that, is it, um, I mean, is it, I was also thinking if he is doing like that one, I think it's it's really dangerous because cow might be kick her him because he is at the back. I think it is not safe. Is it, is it safe or because cow might be kick you or, you know, you were going to, okay, but anyway, keep safe. <laughs> That is the, the way that is also danger uh, it's also dangerous cows might be kick you and it will kick on your ass <laughs> so <laughs> be careful for that is doing like that because you don't know uh, the cows uh, thinking so he might be kick you or he might be because he's not feel uh, at ease or because he is like eating so he might be like um, he was like uh, he was shocked or he was like a uh, surprise and they were going to kick you yeah, just be careful, brother. We finished putting pour on the cows of the milk herd. It was a bit of an issue trying to get all the ones that wouldn't lock up. But we got them all done. Luckily, it's pretty easy to see which ones are already sprayed and which ones need to be done yet. Now we're going to start one of the funnest jobs here on the farm in the wintertime, uh, unfortunately. These bunks, the only way to clean them out is with a pitchfork. And in the wintertime when it snows, the feed packs it down, it kind of becomes like ice in these feed bunks, starts to fill them up. And then when you put feed in here, it all spills out, spills over because the bunks aren't deep enough. That is uh, one thing also that if you are working in a, in a, like, um, in a different farm, which is barn and they're going to have a snow, it's very hard. If, especially if it's really snowing. So it's really hard because it is just really same uh, as I work in Japan. It is very, very same, similar similar um similar things happen we are in the barn and also like it's already it's very hard during uh winter season and the only way to deal with it is pitchforking it out so that's what we're going to do right now there's a ton of chunks of frozen feed the yeah, feed in the bunks is pretty high moisture so it freezes up in chunks and the cows don't want to eat it and you just got to shovel it out every so often <laughs> the cows keep on watching <laughs> 